Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I think I found the perfect EDC screwdriver right here. Check it out. Now I had reservations when I first saw this. I thought, well, first of all, I could make one. Second, it doesn't look like you get much leverage. And third, it looks like, you know, if you're carrying it in a key ring, it would often land perpendicular and, you know, poke you in the pocket or catch on something. Um, in reality, none of that's true. Um, to make it, I would have to find a, a bit um, that had these qualities and was this size. And this isn't a very big bit. If you look it up here, um, we're about one and a quarter inches, which isn't much. This whole thing is really light and small. I'd have to be able to drill a centered hole in it. And yeah, I could set up my drill press and, and try to drill through what I believe is stainless steel, which would require a drill bit uh, considerably more expensive than what it would cost to to buy this. Um, and the third thing I thought about is, is there really that much leverage? I mean, it's, it's a strange design in that you're using basically a split ring, like on a key ring, as the entire handle. So let's take a closer look at it because it's actually a winner. Um, I have looked at all kinds of different types of of, um, you know, simple screwdrivers, EDC drivers. And part of the reason is when I use a Leatherman tool, like here's a Skella tool, it turns out that the bit at the front end is probably the second or third most used tool. There are only three tools I regularly use. One uh, is the pliers. And so a good set of pliers, that's why the Skella tool is actually a great tool. It focuses on the pliers. The second thing is a knife. That's what I want. Um, and in, if you get the Skeletool CX, it upgrades to a Super Steel. This is the 154 CM. Um, it actually has carbon fiber inserts. But I think when I weighed it, it weighed more than the conventional Skeletool. But anyway, that's real solid. And then finally is a screwdriver. And this one has interchangeable bits. Um, so you can use uh, the Leatherman thin bits in this. So those are the three things and I want those to work. Everything else is just icing on the cake. So I've looked at different kinds of EDC drivers, simple little ones. I love these guys and in fact this has a very similar idea here. Um, I'll bet much larger, you know, with a number two Phillips and then a roughly quarter inch but a little bit on the on this one, a little bit thicker um, uh, slotted. This here is, is called a, a Gato or Gato Tools. You can see that there. It's uh, available um, from their website or on Amazon, a little over 12 bucks. And uh, guess what? Here's the package it came in. How about that? Made in USA. There it is. And I thought, let me give this a spin, see what I think. Um, I might bring it to your attention no matter what, but either way, it's it uh, it would get out there because um, it's a unique design. It turns out it's great, and let me show you. Okay, first of all, uh, let's go ahead and take some absolute measurements here. Um, I've got my my uh, caliper here set up. One and three sixteenths. Four sixteenths would be a quarter, so it's really close to one and a quarter inches. Um, I love the <laughs> one twenty eight. Um, and as far as the uh, slotted side, because the number two Phillips is, is standard, um, as far as the bit thickness, we're looking at about a sixteenth. You kind of have to roll this thing around to get it into something that makes more sense than, say, 728. And then the width, um, it's not 31, 128. If I back it off, it's just a hair. It's a quarter. So close enough. Super light, nothing but a thick, heavy. I should I'll show you the measurement on that. This is the split ring. Um, and it is approximately 7 sixty-fourths, uh, 1,328, something like that. If I go to millimeters, um, we're looking at about two and a half millimeters thick. Uh, so it's a good stout ring. And why that matters is because of this. Check it out. I've put a screw in here and I can use this and I can, I, I've got enough leverage, especially if I bend it sideways and make kind of a L handle instead of a T handle, which is pretty common. This one, I've got a pretty good grip. 
but that's about the limit of it. I can't easily twist it anymore. It's kind of odd, but that's what happens. Um, here's a PB Swiss uh, stubby. This thing, I can go all day long. By the way, the funny thing is uh, about this one is I posted it on a previous video as being $29 on Amazon, and I was almost ready to get another one. I thought, that's a screaming deal. It's PB Swiss quality. It comes with, you know, a full array of bits. Um, anyway, the next day after I mentioned that on a video, actually within hours of my video release, it went up to $50 from $29 to $50 or 30 bucks to $50. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what'll happen with this guy. And then with this snap on, this was kind of one of my earlier go-to, uh, EDC screwdrivers. They're great. They're wonderful. But when I put a lot of pressure I mean, that's, this is darn close. I'm actually, I was unscrewing. That's it right there. My hand is slipping. I can't do any, any more tightening than that. This is just rotating in my hand. Um, it's my left hand, but it's where the camera is. If I put this thing on, look at this. I can continue to turn because if you look at the lever here, uh, it's darn close to twice as much. Twice as wide, actually, a little less, but really close. Which means I can get a lot more leverage, even though it's nothing but a split ring. Um, and this has always served my needs, from what I've run into. And then this thing, I can just keep going. In fact, if I add a couple of hands here, I'm going to roll my right hand around and try to get that. I can just keep on going and keep grinding away. It's similar to this. This is way better. That's incredible, but obviously there's a huge difference um, when you're talking EDC. So anyway, I thought I'd bring this to your attention. It's the Gato EDC screwdriver. It's both a slotted and a Phillips in a very small compact form factor. Um, I put it on key rings and tried it and it just, it centers itself pretty well. Occasionally I've had this hang up on things, but you know, it, it looks like it might be in the way, um, but it's really not. It's kind of surprising. So this now is my favorite new EDC screwdriver. And with that, Doc out.